The question is simple, right? Can I, as a Christian, play video games? Or can I, as a Christian, play violent video games? Well, we'll get into details in just a moment, but the answer is probably not. Signed, a Christian who games. Let's talk about that. Hey, what's up guys? Jeff here. I make videos just like this nearly every week. We've been on a little bit of a hiatus, but we are coming back strong. So expect videos nearly every week moving forward. Uh, but we make those to make faithful followers of Jesus and equip them to change the world. And if you want to continue this discussion, also stream over on Twitch um, at twitch.tv slash Dr. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Would love to hang out with you guys and chat a little further. All right, I'm glad you guys made it to this point. I was a little worried that that intro would uh, send a lot of you guys away, but I really do want to have a deep dive conversation into this topic. Uh, it's one of the questions I get all the time. I get it in DMs and I get it over on Twitch and stuff is that um, as a Christian, can I play video games? And more specifically, uh, can I play, you know, certain games? Maybe it's certain games that have certain characters in it that, or that have violence in it or, you know, have certain um, aspects that aren't wholesome to the Christian life. Can I play those sorts of games? And I believe it's an excellent question, and I'm glad to hear that Christians are asking that very question. Um, and so let's talk about it. And I think that we have to understand that the Bible is not going to talk exclusively about video games. Remember, the Bible was written, you know, some 2,000 years ago, um, and so video games weren't really a thing at that time. And so it's not going to say anything specifically about video games, but I do believe that we can take video games or our, our gaming um, and hold it up against Scripture and see where it holds up and how it affects our life. And so that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video is putting video games against scripture and, and sort of how it affects our life. Um, and I'm going to go off of what I see most common, uh, even in my own life and what I see most common in others' lives around me. Um, and so the first question I would ask you, if you want to know if you can play video games personally, you as a Christian, can you play video games? I would ask you this, is video games your master? Because in 1 Corinthians six twelve it says, I have the right to do anything, you say. But not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but I will not be mastered by anything. And so my question to you is, is video games your master? Has gaming become an idol to you? Do you spend more time worshiping games or worshiping God? Do you spend more time gaming or do you spend more time with family? Do you spend more time while you're at work thinking about games or thinking about God? You see in Exodus 20 and three, it says, do not have any other gods besides me. You see, the ultimate test is this, can I stop gaming? Can I stop? Right now, today, cold turkey, can I stop? Now that's that's a hard question. And so maybe what I'd ask next is like, can you go tomorrow, all day tomorrow without playing a video game? Maybe you, you need to go all day tomorrow and the next day abstaining from video games and abstaining for technology. Now that's called fasting. Can you fast from a game and use that time to spend with God or to spend uh, in prayer or, or to spend with family or with other believers? Can you, can you abstain from that thing, can you fast from that thing and spend that time with God? If that idea to you sounds absolutely impossible, then I hate to say it, but Jesus is not your Lord. Gaming is. I want to say this, if that's where you are, don't get too down on yourself. You can absolutely get out of this. What I would encourage you to do is absolutely do what we just said. Fast. Get away from gaming. Abstain from gaming for a short period of time. Set a, a select amount of time. I'm not going to play games. I'm not going to play games on my PC or my console or my, my phone. I'm not going to give in to that addiction, but I'm going to spend that time with God. I'm going to, I'm going to make God my master and not the game. I'm going to abstain. I'm going to stay away from. I'm not going to get anywhere near it. I'm going to flee from temptation. I'm not going to allow myself to be put in moments where I'll be tempted to play a game. Guys, gaming can absolutely be an addiction. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. It can absolutely be an addiction. And if it's an addiction to you, you need to find ways to flee from it to stay away from it and fast and, and spend that time with God until you get control over that. You can't keep caving into this addiction. And so I would say to you, if you are a Christian and gaming has become your master, then you should absolutely not be playing video games. You should be spending time with God, spending time in the word and spending time uh, getting control of that addiction that has control of you. Do you have gaming or does gaming have you? Answer that question truthfully and honestly. This is this is a conversation you need to be having with God. You need to be praying about. You need to be taking it to the Lord. You need to be reflecting on your own life and figuring out how gaming is affecting you and how it is affecting your family because it can absolutely be sinful if used incorrectly. 
I know there's a lot of gamers that say that gaming is very therapeutic, that when they're struggling, when they're having a bad day, you know, when things don't go right at work or school's bad, they can come home and they can play games and they get ease and they get relief. The problem is, the same way that alcohol or drugs becomes a problem is that when you begin to lean on that addiction for your comfort and not lean on Jesus, you've now again made gaming your God. If the only therapy that you seek out, if the only relief that you seek out is in the form of video games, then you've now created an idol once more. You've now decided that games is the only thing that can help you and God can't. And so I would encourage you in those moments of stress and those times of need that you hit your knees and you go to the Lord, that you open up your Bible and you seek out the face of Jesus, that you go to his word and not to some, some other supplemental thing in this world. The world will never fulfill you. The, never, the world will never fix you. The world will never make things better. It will simply add a temporary relief that will lead to a life of addiction that will separate you from everything that you've ever loved. And so do not lean on games for your therapy, but seek out the Lord in those times. So number two, is gaming making me stumble? Is gaming making me stumble? In Proverbs 4.23, it says, guard your heart above all else, for it is the source of life. And again, over in Romans 14, 23, it says, But whoever has doubts is condemned if they eat, because their eating is not from faith, and everything that does not come from faith is sin. And so the question is, how does gaming make you feel? So, so let me ask that. Does gaming make you toxic? A lot of gamers get straight toxic. You'll play a certain game and it just makes you mad to play the game. Maybe things don't go your way. Maybe your teammates don't act the way that you want them to act. Uh, maybe you want to play better than you're actually playing. Maybe you realize you have to invest countless hours and hours into this game to get to where you want to be. How does gaming make you feel? Because if gaming brings you down, if playing that specific game brings you down, if you can't play that game without getting toxic and being mean and rude to everyone around you, you probably should not be in that game. That game is causing you to stumble. That game is causing you to hate your brother. And Jesus says, if you have hate in your heart, it's the same as murder. So is gaming causing you to stumble? Or are you playing a game that may have temptations in it? Or the game itself, the content in the game itself could be causing you to stumble. Does the game cause you to have sexual thoughts? Does it have cause you to have hateful thoughts? Does it, does it, oh, I'm butchering this part. Does the content of the game itself cause you to stumble? Does the game have sexual content that's causing you to have temptation and desires in your heart that you know are not fulfilling to God? It, it, does the game cause you to have hate towards someone else? Does the game cause you to feel a certain way uh, about certain people? Or does the game just make you wanna do things that you shouldn't do? This is where your own conscience is coming in. This is where your own convictions come in. God may be speaking to you and saying, this game's not right for you. Doesn't mean it's not right for some other Christian, but maybe for you, it's not okay. And that's where uh, this verse in Romans comes back in. It says, whoever has doubts is condemned if they eat. If you doubt, if you have a conviction that you should not be playing this game, you feel like God is saying to you, do not play this game, but then you continue to play it anyway, you are now refusing the Holy Spirit. You're refusing the convictions of the Holy Spirit and you have entered into sin. It says, whatever does not come from faith is sin. And so if you're refusing the convictions of the Holy Spirit and you're ignoring what God is saying to you, then you're absolutely entering into sin. And if that's the case, no, you should not be gaming. Or maybe you should not be playing that specific game. Maybe you shouldn't be playing that specific game for that certain amount of length. This, again, is something you need to take to God. You need to pray about. You need to fast over. And you need to see how God is speaking to you. Now, with all those out of the way, if gaming is not your master, if you can control when you play and how much you play and and how much you pour into the game and how the game controls you, if you, you, you can handle that. And if the games you play aren't causing you to stumble, if they're not causing you to have temptation or have desires, if they're not causing you to have hate or, or to get, become toxic, then yes, absolutely. As a Christian, you can game. Sincerely, a Christian who games. I stream video games on Twitch. I get to play games and over a comfortable medium with other people talk about Jesus, talk about the gospel, talk about how it has absolutely changed my life and turned it upside down and through that I've created so many incredible relationships and I've got to see so many lives changed through that. So yes, gaming can absolutely be used in a God-honoring way. Now I do understand there's a lot of Christians out there that say gaming is just a complete waste of time and that no Christian should ever do that. But 
if you're saying that, then you must also say that any entertainment is a waste of time. Christians shouldn't watch movies. Christians shouldn't watch TV. Christians shouldn't read books or go fishing or go hunting or heck, you shouldn't even be crocheting because it's a waste of time. It doesn't grow you closer to God to go hunting or fishing, but it might. Going out fishing, sitting in the quiet, hearing the, the breeze and hearing the water move, it may draw you closer to see God's creation. At the same time, gaming might be your thing, sitting down behind a video game and using your brain and the reflexes that God has given you to, to entertain yourself, to, to make things happen, to create things that may draw you closer to God. Each and every person is different. And Christians, we've got to get off this judgmental high horse that just because someone else's hobby is different than ours, that theirs is wrong. Absolutely not. God created each and every one of us unique and each and every one of us different. Just because someone's hobby and someone's entertainment doesn't look like ours, doesn't mean that ours is superior. It just means that God created all of us different. So if you can handle gaming in a healthy, God-honoring way, then by all means, land those kill streaks, get those wins, and have fun doing it. And make friends and tell people about Jesus while you're doing it. I believe that you can truly live a bold life while playing video games, as long as you don't let video games play you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I assure you we will have more content coming out just like we did before. I apologize for the, the hiatus, the break that we've been on. Uh, the ministry, again, has not slowed down. Uh, we've just kind of shifted focus. We've been over on Twitch and, and doing incredible things and having uh, fantastic conversations over there. So if you do want to join me, I'll have the link down below. Um, I stream pretty late at night, uh, usually on Sundays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But if you're able to come over and hang out for a bit, I'd love to talk with you, uh, show you a little bit of the video games that I play, um, but also have some conversations about Jesus and, and, and how uh, he's impacted my life. And if you have any questions at all about what I believe, why I believe it, um, come hang out for a bit. All right, guys, appreciate it. Keep living that bold life.